Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to get a program like Mac Spaces for Windows 7. If you do not know what Mac Spaces is, it's a virtual desktop program that allows you to have many desktops on the one computer. You can switch between these desktops easily and faster than maximizing and minimizing Windows. It also stops your taskbar from being cluttered with many programs. You can also have different desktops for different functions such as music, gaming and work. The first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser. Go to Google, type in Dexpot. Click the first one, even if it's not in English. Click download up the top. Then click download in this blue box. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to exit. Once you've got it downloaded, go to the location you've downloaded it to, run the exe file and install the program. Once installed, look in your taskbar or system tray for a little monitor icon. Right click this icon, go settings. Ok, now I'm going to show you how to use some of these settings. Number of desktops is ba basically self explanatory. How many desktops do you want? I've used 20 before but it's very laggy and it slows down your computer. I have it stick to 4 which is the default. Initial desktop is what desktop you want to start on when you run the program. Last active desktop means whatever desktop you shut the, the program in, it will reopen that desktop. I have it set as 1 so I always start in desktop 1. Start with Windows means that when you turn on your computer it will automatically run this program. The rest of this doesn't really matter. Appearance. The appearance tray icon is this little LCD icon screen thing. You can change it to a previous desktop button. So it looks like this, switch in between desktops. Or you can set it to one icon per desktop, which I wouldn't recommend because if you have four desktops, it's four different icons. No icon I wouldn't recommend because then you don't you can't get back to settings. Current desktop is the one I normally use as it displays what number desktop you're on. Windows catalog is shows you a catalog for all the windows open. So when I hold control and click, I can see in this desktop I only have this window open. On the others I have different windows and I can drag these windows Excuse me. I can drag these windows to other desktops, such as that, and I can drag this into another window, desktop. Anyway, and double click on a full screen preview. Is when you double click this, it shows all your desktops. I really like this feature as it allows me to see all my desktops quickly and switch in between them. Components I left alone. Controls. I only made hotkeys for all these. Desktop 1, I made Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4, Alt right, Alt left. So if I press Alt right and Alt left, it switches in between desktops. Alt back just takes you back to the previous desktop you're on. I didn't use a hotkey because I never use it. Um, another one I would I said a hotkey for was full screen preview I changed to alt space which means if I press alt space I can easily go to this view I also set a hotkey for windows catalog which is alt backspace which is just this thing again everything else I didn't set a hotkey for because I have no use for it Plugins and extras, the only ones I really use is con Dex Cube. You, sorry, if you click Dex Cube and then you go configure, it has effects you can use, such as Cube, where a sp it appears a spinning cube. Breakfast plate, which just flips the screen around. wall which 
it's just a wall. Such as that. Film strip, which is a film just a film strip. I normally have it set to none because none but sometimes it can get laggy. Dex grid is just a grid like on the Max where you hold where if you switch windows it just displays a grid like this. And that's pretty much it for the settings. One more thing. Oh wait. If you do go settings again go back to controls I forgot to show you this mouse switch you can activate mouse switch which allows the mouse to change desktops so if you click one of these if you hold for example left mouse button if I hold left mouse button on the left hand side of the screen hold the button in it'll switch desktops hold it in again switch desktops hold it in again switch desktops you can set it to the middle button I'm on a laptop so I don't have one right mouse button same thing hold it down any time today oh, whoops hold it down it switches desktops and if you do it on the other side it takes you back now if you do not tick any of these you can also have it alt and left click if you would like if you do not what the hell if you do not click any of these and you activate it it just means when you hover over the sides it switches windows automatically i found that i use this to switch quickly but then i encountered problems for example when I want to use star and I'm going along the side accidentally and then it switches windows or when I was scrolling in a website and it would going down the side of the screen it would switch my screen so I have this deactivated now another handy feature is if you right click and go configure desktops and then click background a little pop-up might come up that says allow or enable such and such just click yes or enable and it will allow you to set different wallpapers for each screen you have make sure you click apply then ok as you can see whoops wrong button as you can see I have four different desktop wallpapers another good thing about this full screen previews if you play a video you can actually see it anyway that's it for my tutorial thanks for watching